Hi everyone, I'm Nano Kitty Chan, and today I have a collective haul for you guys. I've cut back on my figure purchases a bit to try and refine my collection more, so I'd like to share what I have picked up these past few months. First, I wanted to share all the adorable AmiAmi Ami cards I've received from my multiple orders. But like we always do, starting with the Nendroids first, I absolutely could not pass up 2019 Snow Miku. Being the adorable snowy princess version of her, I was so excited by her design this year. And you can see a full review I did for her in one of my past videos on my channel. Next, I picked up the Rin Shima Nendroid, specifically the DX version because I needed all of her cute extra camping accessories. I loved the Year You Camp anime, so she was a must buy indeed. From the same anime, they did release an Oi Nendroid as well, and since I did previously get the Nadeshko Nendroid 2 earlier this year, I thought that all three of them would look so adorable together, meshed with all of their camping accessories. Next, I picked up the Kiros Nendroid from 10 Count, and I never ever expected Good Smile to make Nendroids for the characters from this manga series just because of its themes, so he was a must indeed. I absolutely love 10 Count. As well, I pre ordered the Shuvi Nendroid from the No Game No Life movie, and I am so overly due to watch this movie. It's ridiculous, but I still wanted her Nendroid. I love her adorable design and I loved the series, so I have no doubts that I'll end up loving the movie as well. Of course, I had to pick up the Jack Skellington Nendroid and I did do a full review for him as well because he is like no other Nendroid that has been released before, especially with how lanky and poseable he is. He is a super cool Nendroid if you're a fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas and a great addition as well to my Halloween-y collection of figures. Next, in the realm of figures, I did go a little Miku happy and picked up her second edition of her winter version by Taito and this figure of her includes the happiest looking face on a Miku that I've ever seen. I also picked up the second edition of her spring version as well, which is this absolutely adorable version of her in an Easter themed outfit with bunny ears, which happens to be incredibly photogenic as well. I could not stop taking pictures of her in the moment and this version I feel is just so full of life, especially with her pose. And I picked up the second edition version of her autumn look as well because if it's cute, anime related, and Halloween themed, I'm a sucker for it. And being that Taito game prize figures are so affordable, this was an insta buy for me. The last figure I actually pre-ordered when they did a re-release. I really should have gotten this Ash and Charizard GEM figure by Mega House when it was first released because after it was sold out and it was all I could think of but I'm so so happy I was able to get it at the pre-order price and I feel like I lack Pokemon figures in general so generally so happy to have this in my collection now. Of course, this would not be a haul without some plushies, one being this really cute mini version of Corilla Kuma from the Happy Ice Cream series. With Halloween vastly approaching at the time, I saw this Pusheen in a pumpkin plush at Hot Topic and splurged a bit to add him to my plushie family. The people at Pusheen also released a limited edition Vampur Pusheen plush as well that is everything. I love Pusheen, I love vampires, his eyes even light up red when you squeeze him and he's got little itty bitty fangs. I can't, he's perfection. Lastly, I picked up this Pikachu plush from the Pokemon 2018 Halloween collection. I've wanted this version for a while now and finally just decided to purchase him online and he is nothing less than super cute as well. 
So those were all of my anime figure and merch pickups from most of this past year. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I try to post as much as I can, otherwise don't forget to smile and I'll see you next time.